Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Where last episode we did some beautiful expansions and got some overpasses which are going to overlook a lot of the brand new habitats. And one of the new ones is our elephants. Now guys, I'm low-key going to be honest with you right now. Since last episode, everything keeps breaking in the zoo. Every exhibit has had damaged walls and it's all gone wrong and animals have escaped and I kind of need to rectify it. Uh, we kind of figured out last episode that I can now uh, do some, I have to get some loans as well which is kind of crazy, but we can also do some mechanic researchy stuff, new food shops and souvenirs. Uh, I kind of need to get set up, um, no, is it vet stuff I got done as well? What did I get research? Oh, I got so much stuff research here, facilities. Um, I need new walls. <laughs> <laughs> is what I kind of need right now. Where is the new wall stuff? Barriers. There we go. Oh, it's currently being researched right now as we speak. Nice. Um, yeah, we're very, very desperate for that. Because I do need to uh, sweat these barriers. Uh, turns out these elephants, they escaped. They they somehow managed to escape this. And once I get the new barriers up and running, we can get it all sorted. I've got multiple problems right now. But a big thing I need to sort out today is why is some of the work zones. That is something that we really need to take care of. Now, guys, if you're enjoying Planet Zoo, smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, do you guys please make sure you do subscribe as we get all this now up and running. So I'm going to have to get the big boy loan because we are losing lots of money. But I need to do a lot of stuff to kind of get everything up and running and sorted. It's kind of a pain in the booty. But we're going to give it a good go anyway. Um, right, okay. So how long is that going to take? Then? So we've still got some time before that's done. I'm going to grab the big 50,000 loan there. I'm just going to quickly pause it for a second. And while we do that, we need to take a look at the uh, work areas. So zoo. Uh, I've, I've, I, I was literally just looking at it and now I forgot how I freaking do it. Work zones. Ah, here it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete every single work zone. There we go. I'm going to create some brand new ones. So, let's start over here then. So, the first work zone will take care of this exhibit. And this exhibit. And should I pick one more? I'll pick the ostrich one as well. So, we'll take those. And it will also take as well. That is the keeper hut. The quarantine the workshop, the staff room, animal trade center, don't need that quarantine, <laughs> and we'll take this store as well, uh, we'll take these two here for the mechanics, and that will be our first work zone, which feels, feels about right, there we go. And then we'll add a new one in. So we call it our work zone two. There we go. And then work zone two will take this habitat. It will take these three here. So that's kind of like four enclosures in one. And then that will take you, 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 and you, which is a staff room. Oh, it's two staff rooms. I'll take away that. Uh, research, small center, very new surgeon there. I need the, we'll take the animal trade center. Staff, what was that there? I've just picked another staff room, no. Workshop. I kind of need like a secondary workshop, don't I? Right, facilities. Because we have trouble with the current workshops. Where's the workshop? Here's the workshop here. There we go. Let's drop that one in real, in real quick right now. And then work zones. Oh, we got to re-edit this one right now. I right, pick that. Right, what have I got two of? Right, so get rid of that one there. So on this, 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 this. And we want some maintenance stuff for it as well. So I might as well pick that. We'll pick these ATM machines as well on this. And we'll pick you as well. Jump back to this one. We'll pick that ATM machine over there. And I might as well pick this. Oh, no. That there. All good. We'll add in a third one. Boom. There we go. Which is going to take these stores, these two uh, toilets, 
that enclosure there. And we'll take both of these enclosures. Nice. Um, so we'll take this staff room uh, from it. And I think I'm going to pick you and you. Both those. That's a staff room. That's a staff room. Which is the workshop there? I'm going to pick those two workshops as well so they can kind of differentiate between the two. And select that. And that should. Oh, we'd select this as well. That should be all of those. Nice. And we'll add in our fourth one, which will take care of this, 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 this. And we'll pick it from this side as well. So we do one of these each. Actually, I've got two. Yeah, I don't need all of those. And we'll pick up this as well. And then that will also do the other three uh, enclosures that we have on this side. And then everything is kind of low-key selected. So the only buildings I'm not selected right now is two random staff rooms that can float around for anybody else to currently use. And that's kind of dope. So we have all that kind of set up in a way. Now work zone two, let me edit that one. Has Oh, it has one enclosure, but it has the um, ex exhibit things, whatever you want to call them. So staff then, caretakers. We do one on where's my wait where's my work zone for staff oh it's at the bottom here four one two three four and that's now one of each of the caretakers do this exact same thing for the keepers so then we can hopefully reduce the amount of work each one's got to do and they're fixed to a certain zone which would really help them out and we'll leave the last one just to kind of float around which would be kind of handy to have that that one that just floats uh, mechanics will have one on each zone there we go now we've only got one security guard who will just let float around the park Vendors, the same thing. Vets, the same thing as well. We'll kind of do that. Now, do I re... Is this how much we get the pay? Do I reduce... Um, the pay? Oh, they don't like... Okay, right. They don't like me reducing their pay. <laughs> I'll leave that as it is. <laughs> and then we'll see how that play... Oh, how it plays out. Yeah. I really do need to get the barriers done because it would be kind of nice to kind of get things finalized. I've got to change this from the bears as well. Let me edit this bar barrier and let me select as much of this as I can because the bears keep destroying this because it's not really kind of um, that sh well. Basically, it's not really that strong. There we go. So. Uh, we have on it the corrugated finger, which is resistance grade two. Five for the brick, which upgraded to that will be a lot stronger. And eventually, what I want to do is turn these glass uh, walls here into the brick with the glass window view inside of it. That's what I need to do. And I also need to do the fact that these these are too low for the elephants. And the same thing for that as well. It's the elephants kept breaking the freaking glass that we had last time. Uh, so animal trading then. While I've got a little bit of money, there's no animals in storage. But let me take a look. Refresh the list. Oh, wow. We can get two female West African lions. Right, we'll get the younger one. Adopt. Okay, we've got enough points there. So, West African. Let me scroll down. Let me see if I can get a male. Oh, no, there's no males. Refresh list. Okay, that's okay. Because I, I can always add another one in at some point. So, get rid of all of that. It changed the price. Anyway. So, uh, West African lion. Dope. What else should I get in? I've got to get, like, like a... Um, 
what do you call it? Like a monkey in at some point. That would be kind of dope. Camels? Oh, that would be cool. The camel scene's quite old, though. Um, the camel there. Only really got one. You know what? I'm going to get it. A camel's... Camel's and lions. That's cool, man. Right, back into play, then. And... Right, that should fix everything. Broken barriers. Animals may escape. Right, call a mechanic. Oh, the broken... Oh, my God. Right, hold on. Box all animals real quick. Holy... Do you see why it's really, really important to get these, these barriers all up and running? These new barriers. It's just they're taking so freaking long to get done. Right, zoo. Mechanic research. You get this barrier down, please. Right, slowly going up. Slowly going up. <laughs> That's all I want to get done, boys. Is these brand new barriers. Brand new barriers. Right, what? Oh, power failure. Of course there is. Oh, we've completed. Research for the elephants. Nice. Get rid of that for a second. Um, so we now got some ones that can freely play hang around. So is there any animals that I don't have full research for? No, not really. Oh, habitat has Oh my god. Has un oh unresolved pit pocket. We're getting pit pockets us right now. Oh my god. Uh has damaged barriers. Can I pause again? Right. Does it actually, let me get rid of this view. Where's the damage barriers then? No, they kind of look okay at the moment, but they can break. Well, well, they will break. I don't see any damage barriers at the minute. Let me get this view because it does make does does my, my my nothing, mate. Damage barriers. Do our mechanics just not do anything? I have a feeling sometimes our mechanics just don't do anything. They're lazy. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. But I I gotta. Oh, hippo's been in the box too long. All right, let me uh, animals. Unbox all animals. There we go. There we go, boys. Um, all right, sweet, sweet, sweet. How long until these barriers are done? Damn, that's so slow. Okay. Right, we'll just have to upgrade it over time. Because you... An animal has died! A timber wolf. Vets on route anyway. Sad day. Okay, they're just picking them up right now. Sad time. Uh, anyway, let's get these barriers added in. So we'll start with the. This is in, okay. We'll start with the lion, and I think I'll give the lions. Um, let's give the lions uh, this one. I'll go with this one for the lions, which will be kind of cool. So there we go. Gonna make sure that I get it. In the right spot. So if I go around by 20. Boom. 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 And will it let me to bend? Oh, actually, do you know what? No, not the bend just yet. Bend that out. And then we'll just go big again. To here. Boom. And then because we don't have any way to do breaking glass just yet combined, I'm just going to stick... To this. Alright, bend it around the whole of this. Straight, mate. 
and then connect it. Right, that was quite tough, but we kind of got there in the end. So we put a little g uh, gate in there. I don't know if this is going to be good enough for the lion. But that's what we'll kind of set it up for now. So animal trading in our storage. We'll start with the lion. Send to zoo. Throw it in there. And then we'll see what the animal then requires and needs. So it's quite a funky little layout. But hopefully it can go pretty well. Hopefully it can. So an ostrich is about to mate. We do need to go through all the animals again and kind of slowly sort them all out again because we get a lot of dominance issues and uh, overpopulation and all that kind of jazz. But when don't we have those issues, guys? When don't we have those issues? Um, right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we didn't see. Oh, hold on. Pause. A dangerous animal has escaped. Where? The things disappeared to tell me what animal it was. Where do I see people running a gazillion miles an hour? Or did they manage to capture it and fix it in time? Whatever the issue was. But that brick wall's not looking good. Corner mechanic. Right, I'm ready to press the pause button. Mechanic cannot reach habitat. Ah, yeah, because it's not part of the zone. Yeah, I know. I knew that, guys. I knew that. I've only just freaking done these work zones. But this is going on the this zone here anyway. So edit this one. I'm adding in that one. There we go. So they just literally want to give me non-stop issues. Right, is it this habitat here that needs cleanliness? Oh my god. It's all going down, boys. Right, pause. Danger animal has escaped. Literally jumped over the wall. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Right, uh, yeah. I knew I had to make it bigger. I just didn't realize how small it was. Alright, let's get in there. Let's bring it up to here. In hopes that that's big enough. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Right, it's right underneath there. <laughs> um... These, I mean, when are they going to research these freaking barriers? What are they doing that takes these barriers so long to get done? I get on that, because you seem to do the uh, other stuff. Uh, so, now you're free. Why don't you research some better power stuff for us? That would be kind of handy. Oh, man. Oh, mechanic has done something? Food shops. Hold on. Dage Samuel has escaped. Why all my... Don't tell me it's escaped again. Oh, this is the bear. How did the bear get out? How? What? Huh? <laughs> How did the bear get out? I'm confused. But it's all it's all going downhill at this point. As you can tell, guys. It's all literally going downhill. We had a good run. Uh low welfare. Right, calling them all in there. Get stuff done. Sort them out. Right, we have the lion in here. Which the lion's... Oh, we need to sort the lion out, don't we? Right, we pause. Zoo. <sighs> this, this barrier thing is taking forever. But let's sort out the, uh, the lion anyway. 
So, is it in play mode? We're probably in play mode, so stuff can just simulate as we kind of sort it all out. So, in, no, terrain. Let's start with this. We need less long grass, more short grass. Which is pretty much what most enclosures kind of want from us in general. Let's draw that stuff there. We added a bit more rock. Let's kind of dot that round slightly. Bit more soil. Looking nice. And we do a little bit more long grass, seeing as they want a little bit more long grass now. And that is good enough terrain. Oh, a little bit more rock. There we go. So, perfectly big enough for them. Um, let's sort out the habitat stuff anyway. So, species it is the West. Is it West African lion? Yes. So, we'll go with the big boy. There we go. Let's rotate that just like that. Extra large bedding we'll now get in. Uh, we need the food stuff. So let's start with the food stuff first. So a large food tray. Drop in there. Water as well. Put the water on this side. Uh, bench shelters. Great. Enrichment stuff. The, the blood scent marker. One over here. Over here. Cardboard box. Free. Fire hose. So I'm trying to give it... Oh, a gift box. Nice. Is that a zebra? Oh, it's a piñata. <laughs> Get a couple of these down. I'm trying to give them as much stuff. I'm kind of dot it all around as well. So that should keep the lion semi-happy for now. Uh, overcrowded in the common ostriches. Right, let's sort this out quickly. And so animal trading, animal market. No, I want zoo animals. Oh, the oh the barriers are almost done. Right, animals, species, common ostrich. And we'll first get rid of Let's do maturity. A load of the elder ones. These are all female. But let's get rid of... Release to wild. Yes. Which will solve a lot of the issues. Mechanic research. That should now be the barriers, right? Yes! Right, I wonder what barriers we've now unlocked. So if I was to... Let, let, let's start with the elephant one. Edit barrier. We've now unlocked... Oh, well, we only really got the this here, which is... That's climbable. <sighs> Flat top. <gasps> Window. That's what we want. That's what we freaking want. Okay, let me uh, go up to here. Up to there. Now we make the height high. But we put in a glass window view in it. That's what we want. That's what we want. In every freaking enclosure. <laughs> right, I'm going to pause quickly. Because I don't know if I'm going to have enough money for this. Oh no, what have I done? Undo. Oh, I've undo. Do I get my Do I get my money back for doing that? Oh, I think so. What's going on? Right. Okay, so brick wall. <laughs> and then.
All of that will put a window in. Okay, I can't afford to. So let's... Oh, no. Sediac, calm down. We'll do it from... I did so far where it was window, didn't I? Well, I can afford it to do it there. I can't afford to do it on the other side. But that's better. I like it. Right. Need uh, so much more money. So I'm going to take another loan. 5,000. For just a second. I'm, I'm only redoing really it to this one anyway. There. Glass window. And I should really... Do you know what? I'm going to do it to the bears. Hopefully I can afford to do this. Yeah. I mean, it cost me so much money. But that's exactly what I need to do. That's exactly what I need to do, to be honest. Right, I need to put some donation stuff down for the lion. So, all donation bucks. So, we'll do one there. We'll do one there. And one there. One there. One there. And I suppose leave it like that because we're going to like go into a lot of debt and stuff anyway. But hopefully, that would solve a lot of issues for us. I'm hoping that will. Probably won't, but I'm hoping it will. But they can look through. I feel like I need to make the, this enclosure slightly a bit taller as well. That would be kind of handy. And what should we got next then? So, we're going to fight. Okay, let's sort out the warthogs next then. I think I should sell them. So, where is it? Common warthog. There we go. So, maturity. We'll get rid of the eldest ones as well. I don't think I can get rid of her because she's pregnant. Uh, keep these two as well. There we go. And send to Trade Center. So it sorts out a lot of the issues, but do you know what? It doesn't. Come on, Warthog. Um, right, take you. Send to Trade Center. Okay, I can't move all of them. I suppose because some of them are little babies still, aren't they? Um, so, animal trading. So, I want all of these little warthogs. Oh, I can't send them all. Oh. Quick trade them. Oh, that's the pregnant one I can't do. Quick trade. Send to zoo. Send back in there until that she gives birth. We have a life-threatening disease. Oh, dear God! Right. It is this one, active disease. Get on it. Let's figure that out. Speaker incorrectly placed. Oh, it's not doing the right education thing. Wait, why is that? Why is in here? The iguana. Why is it not showing the right thing? Oh, it's empty. That's why. Oh, did the animal die? Yikes. <laughs> I had an iguana in there, didn't I? I think the iguana died, guys. <laughs> it's not, nothing in my storage is there. No. Oopsie! <laughs> That's not good, man. The hippo is a life threatening disease. Okay, hopefully he's getting treated and we'll survive this. Your boy's hoping. But also, guys, 
I'm, I'm losing a lot of money and I've got loans coming at my eyeballs. So we, we do need to turn around a profit somehow, some way, shape and form. Now I have spent a lot of money, which is obvious. Um, do I have any pandas I could potentially sell? Puna, 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 puna. Uh, view animal management for the giant panda. Yeah, I do. Now, the female here is about to get really, really old. And I can't release in the wild. If I send a trade center real quick. Yeah, I can't really, I mean, returns a habitat. I can't really do much of that. I mean, I could get rid of the baby, but it, the baby's young. I can use it to breed and do other stuff with. Eventually. But it's all about money. Uh, money. What's this? What's, what's this button? Oh, the inspector. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So, guys, can you all donate to me, please? It's very expensive to run a zoo. Very expensive. How's the lion? Now, oh, is there any... Can I get... Animal market. I don't want... Get rid of the camo. I want the... Uh, West African lion. All right, refresh the list. Pause. Now, I can get... I've got both species selected. I can get a male. Hassan. He is affordable with the points. Send to zoo and go in here. And hopefully we can breed. And have babies. Which would be kind of dope. So I'm losing so much money. Why? What's my biggest outgoings and expensive? Staff wages. Oh, 12000 for the loan. That's an issue. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, we do have a lot of issues with staff wages, so uh, gonna need to sort that out. Uh, why don't I kind of get rid of a vet? Two? No, not we'll keep two vets. Uh, mechanics. Can I reduce their wages? Where? How far can I reduce it before they start moaning? All right. Everybody who's on that 1,100, would you drop it down. So I know it's only a little bit, but it'll all add up. The little savings that we kind of make. There we go. So I think that will slowly turn around for us. I do need like a, another food area in as well. But how long are these loans got left anyway? Uh, one year. Oh, that one's almost. Well, that's the one that's going to get paid off first anyway. So it's slowly being paid off. The big boy lions made it to the zoo. Here he is. Is he happy? Are they going to meet for the first time? Are we going to have a stand, you know, a Mexican standoff? <coughs> oh, they love each other, guys. They're going to make such. I'm surprised the keeper doesn't get eaten. <laughs> to be honest, I am surprised. Uh, we're, we're in debt up to our eyeballs, but you, already they're about to mate. Staff is having to queue for a facility. This one. Everyone trying to take a break at the same time. Right, we've done some vet research stuff. Research a little bit of that illness, which is good. So now let's get some research done for the West African lion. Uh, we have transformers failing. Shouldn't there be a mechanic en route to fix this? Uh, inspect the letter report. No, do we not get to see the report? Fine, don't want to see it anyway. Water treatment failing. There's a lot of stuff failing right now. It's called mechanics. Uh, mechanic. Oh, no. Oh, more habitat and food shops stuff is now done. Key races are searching the barriers, though, because that would be kind of handy. A dangerous animal escaped. A hippo. Oh, dear God. And guess what? I can't do nothing about it. Because I got no money. Right. 
the keeper got it. Sweet. I'm probably going to get fined for that. Thanks, guys. Plant failed. How has a mechanic not been here to fix this? Facility inaccessible? In what world? Is that inaccessible? Makes no sense. Right. Call mechanic. Why is this stuff not being fixed? Yeah, it's showing that. Yeah, I know that. The reason behind that. Barrier status. Call mechanic. Oh, they're, they're escaping again. Well, he escaped and he's walked back in. Which is hilarious. But I can't do nothing about it because I'm in so much freaking debt. Another danger animal escaped. Is it... The panda died. Guys. 22 years old. Oh, sad. Call the vet. Call the vet. Holy moly. Right. Once he... Oh, this loan's been paid off. So now we're not... I haven't got that. I can take a 5G loan, but there's no point. Once these loans have been paid off, I can then start turning the money situation back around again. Another broken barrier. What is going on with these mechanics? They literally don't do anything. Or is it because they're too busy researching? Right. Where are we research now? Food shops. Right, okay, sweet. Cancel, so you're out and about doing things. I've got more dangerous animals escaping left, right, and center. And I, I literally cannot do anything about it, guys. Because I have no money to emergency capture them. And while this is happening, it's making all our guests go home. Guys, this panda is just free roaming. We have a free Roma! <laughs> He's chasing everybody! Um, Zookeeper! Okay, bye mechanic. Can somebody pick up this? Panda, please? I know important attention required. The panda has escaped. And the wart has it hug has escaped. I'm waiting for a zookeeper to pick it up. <laughs> a zookeeper just walked past Right, call the vet. We're calling the vet for it. Has it been in a box too long? Okay, unbox all animals. Right, that will get moved eventually. Hungry has died. Call vet. So at least the vet got called for the panda. That's that's a good sign. But with all this commotion and hustle and bustle going on, it scared everybody out of the zoo. Meaning I wasn't getting any money from donations. Meaning, uh, oh, it actually might be a good idea right now if I pause, because as people slowly start to come back in, uh, up the price twenty five. There we go. And make it a 24 hour zoo. So people are here all day, every day. Uh, crime is now starting to be, uh, well, starting to increase, but I can't, again, do anything about that. Um, vet research. Let's just cancel the vet research as well. Finances. My loan is almost paid off. Well, this one anyway. Then we're working our way to getting this one done. And then we shouldn't have any debts. And we can slowly turn the money around. we got issues with the warthogs. So I'm going to view animal management. Common warthog. Let's go maturity and get rid of the Aldis. Send to trade center. Can't move all of them. Animal trading. Well, this is animal storage. 
So. Whatever I can sell. Okay, I can't sell you. Oh, it's the, it's the baby. Quick trade them. Alright, put the baby back. Send to zoo. Can I sell? Oh, I can sell the uh, the camel. Believe it or not. As more animals escaped. He's hungry. Right, move. There we go. A Did you say a danger animal has escaped? A snail? Or is that just me just seeing something weird? Low welfare? What seems to be your issue? Exhibit cleanliness. Call a keeper to that. That should solve that issue. We got issues for days. <laughs> we literally have. We are a problematic zoo right now. And I can't fix it. I need money! Right, that loan is now done. So, we was like 60,000 in debt. So, it's turning around a little bit, guys. <laughs> it's slowly turning around. Uh, low on cash. Yeah. You would think... Yeah, I know. Incorrectly placed. I know that's incorrectly placed. Incorrect sex ratio on... The ostriches. I'm forever doing this with the ostriches. So I'm taking the oldest and they're getting out of here. So the yeah, we're taking it to here. Send to trade center. <coughs> Animal trading. And we quick, quick trade those. Get a little bit of money back. Fine for alpha status. I mean, should we, should, do we let the fighting continue? Maybe, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Multiple animals on low welfare. Which one is it? These. What's their issue now? Cleanliness. It's just been cleaned. Social health. Social group. Yeah, there's too many in there, isn't there? With animals. There is fourteen. So let's view exhibit animal here. Species is the burring cockroach that we have. Oh no, I don't want to buy more. I want to um, I want to view the animals that we have. All right, species. Giant burring cockroach. We'll go to the oldest, to the youngest. So can't get rid of that one. Move to trade center. And then exhibit trading. Quick trade those. A little bit of money. 70,000 in debt. Where's it all going wrong at this point? Finances. I might have to low key get rid of some stuff. So I'm going expenses. So the biggest money. Oh, zoo ticket refunds? Unhappy with visit. Oh. Okay, that's that's an issue. That's a big issue. And it seems to be going up and up and up. Those refunds. Can I do a policy where there's like no refunds? Animal food's huge. Well, I can't do anything about that. Happiness. Right, let me bring this back down to 20 then. There we go. So I've got to make guests happy again. But it's very difficult when you've got no money. Very difficult. And now I'm 90,000 in debt. <laughs> oh, they are literally refunding like crazy. So, guests. Uh, so it looks busy. I'll try some else. Is it like group thoughts, energy, hunger? We have a lot of issues. We have a lot of issues and I don't quite know how we're going to solve it. I literally do not know. There's high amounts of pit pockets in as well. So do I even have a security guard? 
I do have a security guard. I do. But holy macaroni. Am I... I don't think I'm able to turn this around. I don't know. But if anyone has got any suggestions to how I can turn almost $100,000 around out of debt, it, I would be very, very grateful, guys. I'd be very grateful. It's just this is not happening. Not happening at all. Uh, in terms of income, we're getting donations coming. Yeah, ticket sales, shop income is, is there. Uh, loan received. Right, have we completed any of this? Souvenir. We don't have, we don't, yeah, we don't have a souvenir store. Release two grizzly uh, bears into the wild. Guest numbers. Uh, yeah, I ain't getting that anytime soon. Taxes. Habit, ha, habitat area tax I mean am I getting taxed with how big I've made the habitats I've made some big boy ones I really really have but somehow I've got to get out of debt so yeah uh, last year that's how much we lost this year this is how much we lost so the biggest difference is income has dropped dramatically Outgoings, considering we're almost close to the end of the year, is a little bit higher because we've built more stuff and done more stuff and there's refunds and all that kind of jazz. But the income is is like 40 Gs less, which is a big difference. Entry ticket sales and, t and yeah, now because it's now in the next year, we've moved along. Ongoing expenses, animal food. Animal food's a big one as well. Right. What if... You can change... Is it, can you change the type of food that they eat? Animals. Yeah, you can. And they're already, oh, they're already on like, the lowest quality food you could potentially give them as well. So there's not really much wiggle room there. Still got a long way to pay off those debts. But yeah, like I said, I need those donations coming in thick and fast. Now, has this ever taken any donations? No, not really. <laughs> Why? Why? That's, like, that's taking 220. Oh, they're throwing in some more coinage there. 444, nice. Guys, give me that pennies. Give me those pennies right now, please. I'll take them. So we're only down 1,500 on the... Okay, 2,400 on the year so far. And we're halfway through it. Already my income is about to beat the previous year. And we're halfway through. So we've managed to turn that around. So let's check out my zoo, my animals. So these are all the animals I have. And let's go for, let's go by species. So, species right now. Um, all right, let's get rid of you. Send to trade center. So I'm gonna reduce it down, you know, pause a second. Let's literally reduce it down to where we've only got, like, a male and female of each animal. So, Animal Trade Center. Quick trade. There we go. Um, we've got two female elephants. <laughs> we've got baby... Ostriches, so can't really do anything with those. Boring cockroaches right now. Right, let me just quickly select them all. And then we'll keep you, keep you, center trade center. So exhibit trading. 
Select all. Quick sell. Yeah. Gone. Get out of here. Oh, hang on, wrong one. And so we've done the burying cockroaches, male and female. Pandas, fine. Snails. Do the same again. We always take the youngest, if I can. Male and female here. Send to trade center. So uh, exhibit trading once more. Select all. Quick sale, confirm. We got some really good ones as well. Did you notice that some of them have got like that little gold thing on it? Uh, zoo. And we're now on the timber wall. So let me just select all the timber wall so I can see. I can't you get this one, but it's a, it's a male. So we keep the youngest female, which is only this one. Oh, which is going to die soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to die soon as well, so I might as well just keep you there. We've got one yellow anaconda. Send a trade center. And I'm going to trade in. Wait, did I? What have I just traded in? I don't know. But yeah, we've re dramatically reduced the amount of animals that we've now got in the zoo. So hopefully, that becomes a little bit easier. And I'm thinking... I don't need as many food things in each enclosure because it means I gotta fill multiple food things up, don't I? That's what that kind of means. I think there's only one in here. So that's basic shelter. I mean, uh, I'll go through it another time, but that's one way in which we can solve or keep try and keep a little bit of money. Uh, back. Uh, so we're down 9,900. We've increased the cash coming in because we've uh, sold a bunch of animals. <clears throat> but if that can't turn it around, then I don't know what will. November coming again. And in terms of... So refunds are not as high. Staff wages is a big one. Repaying the loan. Obviously, we have to repay the loan. Animal food is so high. So I, I'm going to have to go around and delete some of the food stuff. Because let's say in a habitat I've got like four. It means I've got to fill up four when I can only just really need to fill up one. So there's one there, which is all good. Delete. Right, I just want to delete this one. <laughs> yeah, and this one. And hopefully save some money. So delete that one. I was wondering, it'd be interesting to find out if that method kind of works. If it's a thing. Right, I don't need this food ball. So that one's a little bit closer to the uh, the entrance. Look, the amount I've got in here is ridiculous. So it would be kind of interesting to kind of like see that. If that is something that would, you know, if that, that theory is right. But we won't know. It would take a while before we start turning profit again. But I'm in so much freaking debt, guys. It's pretty dope. Right, I try and figure it out and sort it out for next episode in any way to try and turn this around. But we've gone really, really negative really, really quickly. We're paying off our loans as well. So 50, 60, 70. I can take 75,000. Um, 75,000. To try and pull some money back. But low key. It looked like it's going to be a lost cause. <laughs> but we could do this, guys. Where there's a will, there is a freaking way. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>